Sure enough, we have seen a few isolated showers and storms across the region, but when I say our a region, we're just talking about the I-45 corridor really and that's where we were highlighting last night is the potential for some of this activity to be developing and already here by 5 30 to 6 p.m. we're seeing that activity decrease so looks like the bulk of this is going to be staying up towards Fort Worth but uh, once again we did manage to sneak in a few showers and storms for a lucky few but it's not going to be sticking around too long. Future track begins here at 6 p.m. and just a couple hours after that, especially after the sun goes down, that will all be dissipating and we'll be looking at clear skies for overnight. Now tomorrow, I do think we could stand a chance to see the same thing happening right here from about Centerville up to Corsicana and Hillsboro. That same corridor could be experiencing some very spotty showers and storms for tomorrow afternoon. So I've gone in and thrown another 20% chance in for Central Texas, but just know that those chances are really out here to the east of Waco. Uh, by the time we get into Monday, though, those rain chances are gone and we're just looking at partly cloudy conditions here as temperatures will continue to warm up bit by bit. And here's why there's a very pronounced uh, ridge pattern here in the jet stream and high pressure sitting strong uh, over the mid south, but it's going to be headed west. The jet will flatten out, but it's going to stay up to the north. So high pressure is going to take over and it will move back to the west being almost over top of us by Wednesday and we'll definitely be holding strong by Thursday and Friday. And it's in that period where we could be seeing high temperatures once again of 103 to maybe 104 uh, with mostly sunny conditions. So just some very spotty activity for showers and storms tomorrow with a high of 100 and we will be sticking right around 100 to 101 for the next few days. Mostly sunny through your work week and there it is as high pressure gets quite strong. We're looking at 103 by Thursday, 102 for the Brazos Valley and then possibilities of 104 for Central Texas on Friday and staying hot through next weekend.